All right, so I got a little carried away. Front fenders are off. Doors are off. I uh, was working on getting ready to put the fenders back on when I just remembered that the heater box needs to be fixed on the other side of the truck. So moving on to the next thing because the <clears throat> heater box is going to be metal work. And so is the rest of this uh, cab. So since I got to do all the metal work, uh, I figured I'd just do it all at one time. Cut, weld, grind, repeat. So that piece of cardboard you see there, it's actually a thing that goes behind the seat. Oh yeah, the seat's out. It is over. Let's see, where's the seat at? There the seat is. Pulled it out. It's actually in pretty decent shape. It's a little worn right here on the driver's side, but aside from that, it's actually a really, really nice, really nice bench seat. Still comfy. Probably just put a cover over that guy. So back in the truck, I was pulling out the, what was left of insulation and yeah, that kind of stuff. It was pretty grungy. The center section was actually in decent shape, but because there were animals and stuff in here and it's been sitting a while, I'm just gonna toss it all and use something else when we go back to put the um, carpet in. I think we'll put in carpet or rubber liner, one of the two. So just getting all out of there. There's no point in leaving half rusted and nasty floor insulation that was up there. So anyway, I'm gonna grab another trash bag, get stuff bagged up so we can get out of here and continue on this mission. So I got the majority of the stuff out of the way. Let's take a look and see what we're working with here. Now, I will say one thing. The truck's actually in really good shape. I mean, minus the rocker panels and the holes in the floor. I've seen several trucks that all of this area back here, from the front of this hump to the back, is just gone. So, probably need to pull these seals up down here at the bottom. I'll go ahead and do that. We'll take a look and see what's in there. But, as far as the floors are concerned... Yeah, that's it for the driver's side. Really not bad. Really not bad at all. Unfortunately, it's right where the brace is at, so I'll be replacing the brace as well. But I was anticipating to be eating up more towards the brake pedal over towards the gas pedal or something like that, but not really. Not really too bad at all. The rest of the floor looks good and solid, except for the passenger foot well. Let's take a walk around there and see what we've got. All right, so this is pretty standard. This is kind of what I was expecting over here. If you look all the way back to the rocker panel, up where the brace is at, towards the left, you can see a lot more rust over here. A lot more rust. So I got two full pans and the braces, so that should be plenty to take care of what I gotta do. Obviously the passenger side is gonna be a little more intensive than the driver's side, but we'll get it done either way. But uh, yeah, so that's what the floors look like. The hump, all that stuff looks really good. It's nice, pretty easy to put that back. And I think on this interior, I've been contemplating what I'm going to do because I'm gonna keep the brown. The dash pad that I have to replace this one is brown in color. And the door panels, they were brown in color there. Um, I don't know, should I paint the interior back brown? See, if I go with a brown that's similar to this, then I really don't have a lot to repaint inside. Like, like hardly anything to repaint, actually. Um, now the plastics, they're faded. The headliner, it's a little bit aged, but it's not bad. I'm probably not gonna mess with it because it's still, it's not falling down. So probably not gonna mess with that. I'm just trying not to get myself in trouble on this thing by going too far over the top. Um, just gonna make it a nice little cruising truck. So uh, may leave all that upper stuff alone 
and then not touch any of the brown. And just come in here to the, the jams and start with the color of the truck. Now where that becomes difficult is the doors. I'll pull it over here. So let's say we paint the door or say the truck's going to be white. This white color is all on the inside of the door. As you can see, all that white is the body color. So if I do that, done there, I have to paint the inside of the doors brown to match that. And then I have to create some sort of transition line. Let's get back over here to the side of the door. I have to create a transition line from the door panel, which is here, and the interior color, which is there, to the exterior color, which would be back here. So I could tape it right along there and make the outside of the door all that red and then just brown along the inside of this line. So it's faster, of course, just to paint the door one color. And it may be faster to just go ahead and plan on shooting the interior, the same colors exterior of the truck. That's how they did it from the factories. That's probably what we're going to end up doing. I don't really think there's a way around that. Um, I was hoping I could get around it, but I'm not thinking I'm going to be able to get around it. Although, maybe I'll shoot the doors and still take care of the insides of the door pan or the doors um, where they meet the interior. Probably could still do that brown. So find the color that's like that or close to that. And we might be able to get away with that. So anyway, I'll worry about that when I get to that step. Right now, I just want to get a clear evaluation of the floor. So it looks like I got a little bit of floor work to do and definitely replace, definitely replace both of the floor braces because yeah, they need it. They definitely need it. So I think it's gonna wrap it up for this one. Got the front fenders off. We got the doors off. We got all the seat pulled out and all the stuff inside the floor, all that stuff's up out of there. Got a good look at what we're gonna have to tackle here. I'll get these door seals out of the way so we can evaluate the rocker panels, but that'll be for another one. My name's Erwin. This is Thrills in a Block. We're giving back and time is taken away. We'll see you soon.